we have all used and learned about standard objects and custom objects within salesforce but there is one more type of the objects that is called as the big objects in this video i'm going to explain you when do we use big objects why do we use big objects and what is the difference between big object and the custom object which will be really helpful to you for your own knowledge as well as in your next interview so what exactly is a big object big object you can say it's again an object it's a custom object of salesforce itself or an object of salesforce which is used to store very large amount of the data okay if you have a large amount of the data you can store it within the big object now to be precise usually a standard object or custom object we use it to store the transactional data right uh, we basically use to store it the transactional data that's why we also call it as a non setup object as well right so basically what like for an example let's say i'm going to create certain kind of an account it's not going to be always there right i'm going to delete it or tomorrow i'm going to change it so it's it's going to be a transactional data on the other hand if you don't have such kind of transactional data but if you want to store large amount of the data which is not transactional or it will be transactional after very large amount of time that's where you can, you can use big objects in salesforce now how do you create a big object in salesforce so let's go and create a big object in salesforce so first of all log into your salesforce org and inside the quick object go with the big objects search big objects over here under the data you can find big objects let's click on it <clears throat> hmm that is some issue okay so now let's click on go and click on the new and it's going to give me the name of the big object let's name it as my big object let's name it as my big object and i'm going to provide the plurals as my big objects and rest of the things is same i will provide any kind of description if you want to i can keep context sensitive help settings and all that stuff and contain name and in development and all that stuff but it in very simple term it's just simply like a custom object that we create okay let's click on save now as soon as you create a big object you can find one difference is that it's named as underscore underscore b it's not named as underscore underscore c just like a custom object but instead it's named as underscore underscore b which is defining it's a big object one more crucial difference within this big object is that it does not have any standard field at all now in our normal objects right for an example in a uh, custom object or even in a standard object or even in a custom object there are at least four standard fields available by default but here you can see there are no objects or no fields as well okay no standard field at all like created by and our name and all these fields are not available at all so you can see there are no fields at, uh, at all right standard fields are not there so this is one another difference that big objects does not have any standard fields while the custom objects does have some kind of standard fields like four at least uh, standard fields are available now let's go and create a new custom field now another difference that you can find is that there are very limited options while creating a custom field right you can create a lookup field you can create a date time field you cannot create a master detail field you cannot create a pick list field multi select pick list field rich text area or we can say this text area type of field right where we can save the blob or the images as well you cannot do it over here so in very simple terms you can add very simpler field email number phone and all that stuff right so you can add lookup relationships but not more than that you cannot add master detail relationship or external object relationship or anything like that it's going to be a normal lookup relationship so let's go ahead and create a name field or text field named as name Let's give the length as two fifty five. Let's click on next. It will ask us to create for which profiles do I want to give access to. I've given to all of them for now. And let's click on save. So now our custom field is created. So basically, the object is named as underscore underscore b, but the name field field is named as underscore underscore c. So the, this is how you create a custom field. Now one more thing you can see at the bottom is that there is something called as index. Now what is exactly use of this index? Let's understand it. First of all, let me go to the developer console. Okay, I forgot about it. Okay. Right, let me query something uh, from the big object. 
And uh, can I see big object over here? So one more interview question it can be. Okay, select ID from big object. If I'm going to go ahead and just query from the big object, it's not going to allow me. The reason is it's saying me that add indexes. Without indexes, you cannot query within the big object. Now, a very sense sensible answer for this question would be the, the problem would be that big object contains very large amount of the data. And if you're going to query that large amount of the data, right, it's going to create performance issues. Hence, big object prefers using where clauses along with that. So let's say I'm going to go and create a, I'm going to add a where clause with the name field. So let me add where name underscore underscore c equals to is not equal to null let's say and let me execute it it still does not allow me right it can say name underscore underscore c cannot be in a filter query call so it's saying me you cannot query using uh, you cannot uh, i mean query with where clause as name underscore underscore c it's saying that and the only reason is because you have not added it to an index Whatever field that you are going to add under index, with that only you can query the records inside the big object. And the field that can be added to the index are nothing but the lookup fields. So let me add a lookup field right now. And I'm going to create a lookup relationship with the account object, let's say. Or account. <clears throat> so yes our relationship is been built right now relationship has been built but previously if you would have saw i did not get oh okay Let me make it required, confirm, save. Okay, now as soon as I added a lookup relationship field and I made it required, then I got an option to add it as an index. Now if I click on new, only the lookup fields can be added within the index. I can add it within one and I can query it based on ascending account. You can name it as account relation, right? And let's click on save. Now. Let me go to where is it okay not here I have to go to the big object again now if I again go back to our big object previously if you would have seen I was not able to query based on name but now I will be able to at least query based on account because now it has been added to the index let me execute it see I did not get any records but even I did not get any kind of error. Instead, if I was adding name underscore underscore C, it was throwing me an error saying that it, it cannot be queried, right? It cannot be filtered. So the basic use of this index is that it will allow you to write a where clause. These fields, whatever you're going to specify over here will be used inside the where clause to query further. And the, the field that can be queried or there can be added to the index. Let, let us add name as well. Let us make it required as well. Okay, let's check whether we can add name field as well inside the index or not. No, I don't think so we can. No, I don't think so. Lookup fields are only available. Okay, so if you want to add a relationship or a, a, if you want to write a where clause within the big object, it has to be within an index. It should be a lookup field and it should be required, right, on the uh, database level. So then you can query it from the big object as well. Now, next question would be, how can I create a record of the big object? So let's go ahead and like, just like a custom object, let's try to go and create a tab of the big object. Can we create a tab to add the records within the big object? Let's check it out. Okay. So now if you see right now, custom object is there, web tabs is there, visual force tab is there, lightning components and all this stuff are there, right? But it does not have uh, big objects as a tab, right? You cannot add a big object within the tab. So in simple question, a simple answer for this question is that you cannot add big objects within the tab. Then what if you want to, 
what if anyhow you want to then in that case either you can use visual force page or lwc component to fetch the data from the uh, to interact with the big object and use the ui of lwc or visual force page and create a tab on that so basically you will just create a customized tab for the big object right so in simple terms you cannot create directly records within the big object if you want to you have to write an apex class or either you have to create an lwc component which is basically going to interact with your big object so this was all the knowledge that i had with the big object if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel